But it's fine. Okay, this is Basket Bell. Uh, before we start the run, we're going to take a look at the rules. This is the rules of the game. What? What? My mic apparently just came on. We got a brilliant tech. Um, no, sorry, it's fine. They're good. We're having a bit of issues. Um, but it's cool. Uh, all I was saying was I can't hear myself, which is which I couldn't hear myself, and neither could you. I'm going to play Basket Bell. This is a uh, highly optimized speed game. <laughs> we'll just check a look at the rules first. All shots dunks are worth one point first. So Eleven points wins the game. Do it. Don't win for you. Win for her. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll start in three, two, one, go. Okay. So we're going to be waiting about like 20 seconds before the first input. So that's a good start. This is basically an indie. It's a flash game, but it's it, it's, it runs on it's like Adobe Air. Uh, it's available on Steam, quite cheap. Uh, I found it one day, and I was like, it's in the sale. It's like. It was an alright game, so I thought I'd speedrun it, although there's a lot of cutscenes. I ran the wrong way at the start, that's a good start. And did that. Okay, now I've got to wait for the dialogue. Yeah, there's a lot of cutscenes and dialogue, but there's quite a bit of gameplay as well, anyway. This is a tutorial, so I'm just doing the tutorial as fast as it humanely lets me. I'm just waiting for the, um, to get ready to take the inputs. The tutorial allows you how to, actually, need to set something else first. Oh, I missed the mess up. Uh, okay. I, that didn't work very well. I was trying to glitch. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try and explain how this game works. But there, I got it back. The story is just how move left and right. You can duck and you can um, go to jump. This is not working. I just practiced this as well. Oh, that's sad. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, usually you're meant to like f fake jump and he'll he'll jump up and then you can slide under him. But if you throw it and then move into him and grab it you can actually clip through him i only found this like the other week as well by messing around that's how most glitches are found anyway yeah my probably the, me describing this game is going to be horrible but yeah you can move left and right you can fake you can jump you can jump you can fake throwing the basketball up and you can slide under things as well that's all the controls in this game so let's do it again there we go that's the fastest way to complete this. This game is like a mishmash of genres. Like, currently it's like we're throwing basketballs that, that if you couldn't have guessed from the name of the game, this is a very basketball inspired game. Anyway, time for a name drop. Basket Bell. This whole story is like... I'm not doing anything, guy. I'm just smashing keys. Uh, Here's, here's where we're going to do some platforming. She lost the ball in this big forest. I think I'll actually let the plot try and describe itself. Because it does go a bit crazy. Oh, nice. This, okay, there we go. Good. So, we go back to take her the ball back and now she's gone. If you're watching the cutscenes at the start, their father gave him the basketball and her the bag. So that's kind of the indication that she's left the bag behind. Wow, good commentary from me, anyway. Oh. Okay, let's try and do this glitch again. There we go. You can actually do it straight from here, which might be slightly faster, actually. I usually used to do that, and I forgot. Because it's been a little bit since I practiced this game. Too busy with tech. Uh, I don't know. It's just the enemy. I don't think they actually have a name. Okay. So, I mean, I mean, the, the, the plot so far is that she is she has disappeared, and these things are around, so... I, I don't know if they, I mean, they don't specifically say, but she has been kidnapped. And then one of them, uh, him. So this level, you're now inside one of the blobs. 
and you must escape. Now we're in the the, pu the puzzle section of the game. We're here for these things that look like basketballs to get through a load. Wow, really, really, to get through um, these levels. Uh, this is now reminding me of Parappa, where he's seeing things and using them as basketballs. I, <laughs> I never made that connotation. It's funny because this is like the only level where there's something that isn't a basketball you use as a basketball. I'm pretty sure. Okay, can I do this? No, I can't. I'm gonna have to do that and then put it down. I was trying to do it really quick. It works. Make sure it stays down. This literally is just. Mostly trying to get around things with this puzzle. There's like, I think it's 11 areas for this. Um, I need to stand on this. This puzzle. Jump back up as fast as possible. Grab one of these. And it opens the door below me. Try and fall down as fast as possible. You can fit down the sides. It's a little bit finicky. Okay, I, I want to try and get this one. I, I was holding down X and it didn't do anything. Uh, that's worrying. Uh, you can do that a little bit faster because you can, you can throw the basketball as you're walking down here and then jump straight on this green platform. Anyway, time for cutscene. She did it. Time for a quick donation. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right. Uh, we have a $20 donation from Obiter45 saying, Hey everybody, sad I can't be there, but good luck and here's to an amazing event. Thank you very much. The puzzle here is if you jump on these, um, if you jump on the green blocks that you actually push down and jump off fast enough, you don't trigger them, so you can, like, you have to hop across some of them like that. This is probably the most technical part of the game because it's like the only puzzle, really. Uh, actually, that's kind of cruel. Not the only puzzle, but like that has heavy puzzle elements. Just waiting. You can't jump while you're holding these basketballs, unfortunately. So you have to just wait until you can to that area. Pretty sure it's 11. I'm very bad at basketball. So I'm pretty sure it's basketball related. Like er pretty much like not every single one, but a lot of the levels require you to score get to 11 points. I'm pretty sure. Easy peasy. Quickly, thank you, game. So this one, you have to use the ball to throw at that to go under this first, and then you have to throw, do that, and throw over here. But now it's slightly strange. You now have to get over. Do if you remember the trick I said earlier, you can do that and slide at the same time, and that's how you get through that one. That's kind of tricky. Someone looked at that and told me, "Is that the intended way?" And I'm like, "I guess." I can't think of another way of doing it. Anyway, that, that aspect of the game is over. Forget that bit even existed. <laughs> now there's another blob thing with a lot of <laughs> a lot of arms. This is mostly a timing puzzle. You have to score these hoops by throwing this over him. When he has got his arms up. on 
these ones some of the some of the bits throw three balls. So uh, apparently the game can glitch here and one of them doesn't reach it, but I haven't had that happen luckily. Now he's gonna grab grab us, yeah. you'd be able to do that in one go, but I, maybe not. You maybe have to pull back. It's like you have a ru you literally have rubber band physics while he's holding on, when the te um, the um, arm is holding on to you. Okay. If you remember during your first cutscene, um, his father said, when, you're, when you need to fly, you'll be able to. No, I'm just messing around here. And of course I can fly. You always could. You just need to keep on jumping. <laughs> now I can fly. For some reason. And as it said in that cutscene, their dad isn't dead. He's just a ghost-like figure right now. It'll probably become more apparent at the end of the game. It's, it's not a death story, don't worry. I imagine there's a lot of people who, who might like see this or have played it and it's like at the start and she disappeared and they thought she was gone forever or something and it was like a revenge story. That'd be funny. Anyway, this is literally try and find the best way through these clouds and I'm pretty sure this is RNG. The good bit about this level is there's like at the last third of it you don't even have to press any buttons. There are actual um, obstacles in a second. It does get slightly more difficult. I can actually lose time. Got time for another donation? Yeah, sure. Alright. We have $15 from the Mibulus saying, What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mibulus coming at you live. Best of luck to all the runners. And since there's no donation incentive for a sing along with Ross, I'll have to put my donation towards the Battleship Brigade daily challenge. And let's all hope to make this a great marathon. Okay, here are the other Thank obstacles coming up. Lightning bolts. They're on a cycle, and if you hit them, it just throws you back a little bit. But currently, the timing seems quite good. Jumping in that cloud there is actually faster than getting hit by it. Though. Okay, wow, that didn't hit me. Wow, the uh, hitboxes on these things and the timing is really, really forgiving. Is this the last one? Am I done now? Yes, okay, now I can let go of the keyboard. This, this bit plays itself. I know, uh, there's a lot of inputs. I'm... Well, you've already frame parked for a lot of this game, but... There's nothing I have to do. Like, the biggest glitch I think I have is that bit where I was clipping through the blob at the beginning. And I only just found that recently. Well, all I have to do is charge up my shot a little and then throw it and then run and for some reason he catches it stuck inside the blob and it lets you go through. This this bit is really strange. I'm going to hopefully get this. Oh, actually, this is the wrong throw. This one you can just throw from here. I wonder if you can do the glitch here because that should be interesting. We can give it a shot because I haven't tried it. If not, we'll just do it intended. For this one, it's like, the bit you have to hit on this blob is ridiculously high up, and I missed it. <laughs> I usually stand around here. Come on. How, how's that miss? I don't really understand that. Oh my god. Having a reference, this is really weird. The statue is a good reference. The 
last the last one. There's only three hits on this, luckily. The last one is the same as the first, so it's really it's ridiculously easy. I just run up here and press the button. So that falls on me, and uh, luckily we're not dead. Don't worry, we're just captured. Well, we found our sister. Except she doesn't think she's our sister. Also, this is this is a cutscene where you can actually control your character. You can lean backwards and forwards, and that's it. Now, this uh, next level might seem like um, it, it's it's basically all scripted, so I, I just have to figure out how to get around the, um, how to quickly do the script bit. You're gonna play basket basketball against her, basically. So I'm gonna jump once. I'm gonna do this just to, so she says I can fly. She has to make like the first, I think, four shots. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this and let her do it because I don't need to wasting my time. I'm not in a speedrun. And then I think the fifth shot she misses, you score, and then you walk into her, and then it plays the next part of the game. You can't catch these balls. I've tried. She will always just make them. Now she's con she, as you see, she's continuously throwing it, even though I jumped, and she'll always miss it. And now I need to is hold hold right, and the level will complete itself. Luckily, the bag is the way of her remembering who she is. She knows who she is and she wants to go home, but oh no. They've kidnapped her and taken her to the top of uh, what looks like the Eiffel Tower, I guess. It's just a tower that looks like it, I guess. But now we need to fly up to get her. So now it's just a dodging obstacles level, basically. Although, th there's actually a speed tech in this. The speed tech is you want to hit all of these, um, all of the circles, the, the arms drop. Otherwise, it's, and make sure you don't get hit, obviously. Because it is a certain distance to the top, and it does get harder as you go up. Like, I'll be amazed if I don't get hit once by something as I go up. I used to think I had to mash X while I did this, but luckily you do not, you can just hold X. Smashing X was really annoying, and then I realised you didn't need to do it. I don't think the game really tells you anything besides keep jumping, which I implied I thought you had to mash it. Oh. Yep, I got hit, see? This is where it gets more difficult, they start throwing more at you at a f uh, faster rate. Just make it over here in time. Yep, just about. I think there's one more. Oh no, there isn't one more. That was all of them. There's four of them. Now we need to use our uh, basketball tactics to, uh, <laughs> to free her. the uh, blob will keep throwing things at us to try and get us to stop. But, nope, there we go. And one more thing as well. I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last one, yeah. Well, he throws that down. Oh, just made that in time. Didn't have to slide again. So now we're going to fall back down. Basically, we're going to dodge things again and go through circles, and but we're going to go down this time. Which you can, funnily enough, you can you can slow your rate of descent by hitting things. I don't know if that works logically, uh, <laughs> physically, but I don't know. 
they need some way of slowing you down. So it's fine. Luckily, when you're uh, when you go through the rings, you don't uh, you can't hit anything. So. Nearly on time, by the way, so you should probably get ready on that. Whoever's sitting on the PC, in like 30 seconds, maybe. I'm gonna get hit by the Just want to go for the last circle, or maybe it's not. It's basically when we get to the ground. You can control yourself during the credits, but I just put the final split. Because I'm basically the only runner, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, and time. What was that? Oh, that's not too bad. So if it wasn't obvious, it's all in their imagination. Because, you know, they're young children on that, you know. Although, is it? Because the, the tower is broken. Also, something I didn't notice until recently, this dude thanked Bennett Foddy in the credits. Um, everyone knows Bennett Foddy now because he made a game called Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Yeah. He also made Quop. Uh, he probably made some other games I forgot about. This game came out before Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. This game, the, the guy who made this didn't play Getting Over It and went, wow, I'm going to make a game of my own. He, he, he probably played Quop instead. Or maybe Bennett Foddy, how I don't know. Bennett Foddy was a guy before getting over it with Bennett Foddy, even if that's um, if, even if that's unbelievable to you. <laughs> anyway, that was Basket and Bell. Thanks for watching. I'll be back later with uh, Getaway Black Monday All Races. I'm a bit later. I need a rest. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And continue to watch the marathon. Thanks. Bye bye.
All right. Thank you for watching the United Kingdom Speedrunner Gathering, a two-day speedrunning marathon held four times a year. We're coming to you live from Glasgow, Scotland. We are raising money to support Young Minds, a charity leading the fight for a future where all young minds are supported and empowered. Whatever the challenges, your donations help them to make sure young people get the best possible mental health support and have the resilience to overcome life's difficulties. Thank you for your, all your donations. As for marathons, we would like to thank ESA for supporting us. Besides providing us with their channel for streaming, they're sharing gear, technical assistance, and sponsors. We would furthermore like to thank BSG for supporting this marathon. They hold monthly gatherings in the Netherlands for people in the Benelux region. They have supported UKSG from the beginning by spreading the word, providing us with a channel to stream on in past sessions, and even now that we are experiencing growing pains, they have offered to handle donations for us while we get our back end fully set up. If you see that your donations are going to the Benelux speedrunner gathering instead of us, this is why. Um, coming up next, we have the Sexy Brutal by Tricro. This is going to be a very interesting, just from the name alone. Uh, we do have some donation incentives that you can donate towards. Um, for example, we have Battle Chef Brigade, the daily challenge incentive, which currently stands at, once I refresh I can tell you, $25 out of 200 I don't think it's such an impossible goal to reach. So if you want to see that happen, get those donations in now. We'd also like to mention that we have Twitch Prime subscriptions. If you're subscribed, if you've linked your Amazon Prime to Twitch, you have a free subscription to, to get from it. Now, fun fact, this is probably the last speedrunning marathon you're going to see before Twitch Prime actually removes ads. So. If you want to use your Twitch Prime sub, this is the as good a time as any to do so. This is the Sexy Brutale. Audio, mic, okay, cool. Well, 